Hello, welcome back to my channel, Open Heart Healing. My name is Sarah. Thank you for being here with me today for this reading. Um, this is a uh, this is a, an interesting one um, to me, but I don't know how many other people are going to find this uh, relatable or interesting. But I was guided to use uh, my own card deck that I made. Uh, so that's these cards here. I I cut pictures and words out of magazines. <laughs> it took me hours to make, I don't know how many cards I have in my deck now, but um, it's pretty much a full deck. I could I could make some more cards, but it's very tedious and time consuming to make these cards, but it was so much fun. I loved doing it and I never really used them because, I don't know, they're just kind of, as you can see, like random and weird. <laughs> so, I, I don't know, my own cards I made like just didn't really speak to me that much, but for some reason today, um, Spirit said, you know, so I, anyway, I figured what could have hurt. I shuffled and got the cards and thought, well, the worst case scenario is I get these cards and I, <laughs> and I don't really have a message. Um, but these four cards all came out together. And then Spirit told me these two go together. Um, they actually didn't come out in this order. They came out backwards. So this was the first card. This was the second card. This was the third and this was the fourth. But I was guided to put them, like reverse them. And that's actually part of the... The message with the reversing but anyway uh so anyway i hope you find this uh video interesting anyway even if it seems a little strange a little different than my other ones um so the story i'm getting from these cards today or the message is that this is the story of my experience i'm just going to preface this by saying that this this reading is all about well, not all about, but very much focused on Jesus. So if you're not, you know, Jesus doesn't resonate with you or you don't resonate with Jesus, um, you can click off. <laughs> or maybe you just want to stick around and listen to my experience because I don't know what this is, but it's like my my testimony or something. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what that's called? A testimony? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So anyway, I have my Jesus picture thing in the background there because that's what <laughs> look at when I made this card I was specifically thinking of this image of Jesus where he's knocking at the door to your heart um it's always been my favorite image of Jesus um which is why I have this picture thing it's like a three-dimensional thing it actually lights up I wonder if I could light it up no anyway I should have done that beforehand. It has a little light that lights up anyway. It, I love it. It's one of my it's one of my favorite possessions that I own. Um anyway, so this is the story of how at the end of 2019 I was going through a very extremely difficult time. 2019 was a, just a terrible year for me. It was terrible and beautiful. So <laughs> it started out terrible and then was like terrible and then midway through kind of became wonderful and magical and beautiful and anyway so I was going through a tough time and I decided you know what I know Jesus is in my heart because I've always loved this image and I've always loved Jesus and felt connected to him and so I said you know what I'm gonna ask Jesus what's going on here because I don't understand why I'm suffering so much and um, it was then that I I looked into my heart like literally looked at my heart and and with my third eye, I could see Jesus in my heart. It's a very hard thing to explain how you can see with your third eye into your heart space. But um, that was my experience. And he was there and he worked, you know, he, <laughs> he worked his magic anyway. And um, my life was never the same. And it was a, a very transformative experience for me. It was a very healing experience for me. Um, all of my suffering dissipated in that moment. Well, for that moment, I'm not going to say. I've definitely suffered since then, but I always, whenever I'm suffering, I always try to think back to that moment and think back to Jesus. Um, but yeah, so my heart, the message here is, oh, I don't know how to pull this together, you guys. Um, I had my heart open already, and then I knew Jesus was there. So basically what I'm supposed to tell you is Jesus is already inside of everybody's heart. 
But you have to open the door to your heart to let him in or to access him. Because he's already, you know, I've always looked at it, this picture as he's on the outside of your heart and you have to open the door and let him in. But what he's explained to me is that he's already in there because your heart is a portal to everything that exists. So he's already inside your heart waiting, just waiting for you to open your heart and open the door of your heart. <laughs> I'm sorry that I keep laughing, but I just realized that a lot of people are going to be just maybe rolling their eyes at this, but I don't, this is the message. This is what came through today. This, I don't know. Oh goodness. Okay. So I did that, had that experience of, um, opening the door to Jesus. And then he's been with me ever since in one way or another, and that has changed and transformed over the years also. Um, but once I did that, he started, when he started communicating with me, he started telling me, about the re like what is reality and how this world really is and um revealing the secrets of of things um not that I know all the secrets of the universe or anything like that I certainly don't but he just showed me how this world is actually an inversion what we consider reality or what most people would consider reality is actually an inversion see how it's like an inverted pyramid here an inversion of the truth and that has um that was done deliberately to mislead humans and to keep humans from becoming very powerful because if hum if humans realize their full potential and how powerful they really are uh then the people who are running the world would not run the world anymore <laughs> and they they want to prevent that so they have deliberately misled us in many, many different ways in every avenue of life. You wouldn't believe the amount of infiltration and deception that has gone on over the course of, I don't know, forever probably, but certainly it's amped up, I'd say, in the last like 100 years <laughs> with um, the internet and everything and how they can put out all this information that's misleading and incorrect and all that stuff. Anyway, I don't need to probably go on and on about that, but just that Jesus, I, I connected with Jesus, and then he, he started showing me how things really are, and it's been, it's been an amazing experience, I would say, but it's also been uh, kind of discouraging because I feel, he, I don't like to say this, but I, I do say this sometimes, that Jesus kind of ruined things for me. He kind of ruined you know, he took off the rose-colored glasses. <laughs> I don't know if he like, even had rose-colored glasses on, really, but it just, yeah, he just showed me how, you know, most of the celebrities are puppets for the agenda, and, like, all my favorite musicians are puppets and had were pushing an agenda, and I just, it's been a little disheartening. Disheartening, I will say. But, um... You know, I'd, I would rather know the truth, I guess. I've always been that type of person of, like, hurt me with the truth rather than comfort me with a lie. <laughs> I don't know why. I kind of feel like I wish I was the other kind of person who just, I just want to be comforted by lies because I feel like life would be so much easier. But anyway, um, so that was the message of that. And then this card here is, uh, is feed the good is what I was looking at there on that card, or what I was drawn to on that card is, um, and I just want to say that if you get any messages from these cards, you know, it might just be a message for yourself too. Um, but anyway, and the, Jesus is saying, you know, what you, what you give your attention to, your, your energy to, is what will grow like your feet, like you feed things with your energy. You feed things with your attention. Um, what's that saying? There's a saying. Where attention goes, energy flows. Is that what it is, maybe? Something like that. I don't know. Um, but it's true. So it's not, you know, it's good to be, it's good to know the truth of the way things are and to be aware of reality and to not like bury your head in the sand and be oblivious. But you also don't want to focus too much on those negative things or the inversion, the inverted reality. 
and you don't want to be you don't need to fight it because then that gives it energy kind of so it's just kind of finding that balance of awareness and not being naive being aware of the truth but then also um, putting your putting your energy and your attention and your focus on creating the world that you want to see because the goal is for us as humans is we are supposed to be bringing heaven to earth we are supposed to making be making this physical reality more like heaven and it's kind of a catch 22 I don't know why I'm saying that I never say that really um that we want to overcome evil and and we want to shine the light on the darkness so that there is not that darkness here anymore. But we also want to make sure that we're not feeding the darkness by giving it too much attention. So you have to kind of give it the the right attention is what I'm getting, which I don't know what that means exactly. I'm getting that it's we don't need to fight darkness because darkness it it does exist but it's not real so we don't need to fight it all we need to do is shine our light on it to illuminate it and expose it and then it will dissipate right because like if you have a dark room and you could sit there and try to like fight the darkness I mean <laughs> I don't know how you would do that, but, you know, but that's not going to be very effective. Like, how are you going to fight the dark? What you need to do is just light a candle, right? You just need to, like, bring some light into the room, and then boom, no more darkness. So, um, a candle flame doesn't have a shadow, is what Spirit is saying to me now. <laughs> a candle flame doesn't have a shadow, so... The shadow is just an illusion. Any shadow is just an illusion. Any shadow. What is a shadow? The shadow is the absence of light. Something blocking the light. So you wouldn't fight a shadow. You would just shine a light in in the right area or the, in the right direction, and it would just go away. So I don't know, you guys. <laughs> this, this message today is kind of crazy and deep, and I'm not really sure, but. It is what it is. So um, this is what I got. I don't know what people are going to take from that. That was kind of a, ooh, that was a doozy. That was a doozy of a reading, you guys. So um, I would love to hear anybody's thoughts on this. If you'd like to leave a comment, you can even tell me like I'm crazy. Or you can even say you hate my cards I made. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, if you could hit the like button, that'd be great. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know that resonated. If this did not resonate with you... <laughs> and you're still watching, please um, go back on my channel to my previous videos and scroll through and see if there's anything that jumps out to you because I have many, many messages on there now. And there's bound to be something for everyone in, in one of those videos somewhere. So um, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you not just being here with me on this channel and watching this video, but I appreciate you being here on Earth with me at this time because together... We are creating heaven on earth, each in our own, I want to say small way, but spirit is saying none of it is small. It's all, it's all a big deal. Everything we do to bring light to this world is important and it's a big deal. So keep shining your light on the darkness within yourself. That's another thing is you don't have to shine... I mean, sometimes it's appropriate to shine the light on the darkness that's out in the world, but what we all really need to do is shine the light on our own darkness inside of ourselves and to dissipate that darkness within ourselves and to have the light within ourselves grow stronger. And then that has an effect on the whole world because what happens, you know, as within, so without, they say. So it's, that's kind of that kind of a thing. So. Yeah, just keep shining your light, being awesome. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time.